Hi Church, it is day 19 of our 21 days together. We only have two more days left and today we're talking about the fifth area where God has called us as a church family to advance and increase in 2022 and that is finances. Now, it might sound like a very secular, non-spiritual area, like why would we as a church be talking about finances? But God cares very much about finances and about what we do with our money and how we steward our money. As a matter of fact, Jesus taught more on money than he did on prayer. Isn't that crazy? Like, that's a lot. That's saying something. So when it comes to increasing in the area of finance, we're not talking about we're going to become richer. We're talking about becoming more trustworthy in how we steward what God has given us. And we want to up our giving and our generosity. We have that saying that at Uncommon Church, we operate in uncommon generosity. We want to increase in that this year. Year. So Luke 16, 10, it says this, Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. You know, some people say this, well, if I had more money, I would give more. But the thing is, this verse says, however you treat your little is how you will treat your much because it reflects your heart and where your trust is and where your faith level is with God and what your attitude is towards giving and stewardship. So we need to learn both individually and as a church to be good stewards of what we actually have because Jesus says the same way we handle what we have now is what, how we will handle when he gives us more. And when he looks at how we're handling what we currently have, we want him to be able to and want to trust us with so much more. So the focus is not so much about how much do we have, but it's how well do we manage and give what we do have. Luke 6.38 says this, give and it'll be given to you, a good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. For the same measure you use, it'll be measured to you. God has a heart of generosity, and I want that to well up on the inside of all of us. But at the same time, also that other part of it is not just generosity, but stewardship. And learning how to steward our finances personally is so important. Obviously, it starts with trusting God and giving 10%, but there's so much more to it. God has given us wisdom and insight on how to manage our money. And I wanna encourage you this year, if you haven't yet, plug into a U group or with somebody in our church that can go through the financial peace seminar or some type of um, way of you getting better at stewarding your money. And the one thing that we've asked everybody in our church to do is to read Poverty, Riches, and Wealth by Chris Valatin because so often there's misconstrued ideas of what money looks like for Christians. Like either some people think, well, riches and lots of money is a sign that God loves you and that you are walking in a lot of faith. And some people believe that, hey, if you're really poor, then you're super godly and very spiritual because you've given everything up and you don't love money. Neither is really true. And we need to understand what it means to handle money God's way so that we can operate in riches and wealth and have an impact in our community and around the globe for the kingdom of God. Not for ourselves, but for the kingdom. So this year, let's take ground in the area of finances.